Greetings. This is part 3B of the Sigwin Unix tutorial. My name is Dennis Daniels. Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed previous tutorials, which I recommend you take a look at before you watch this one, because we'll be moving quickly through some things that will confuse you if you're not familiar with basics. <coughs> Your first stop, um, if you haven't already done it, is to go to Sigwin and download your own copy. I'll be using this uh, Unix tutorial for beginners which is under the Creative Commons license right here by M Stone Bank at surreyac.uk. The tutorial is a little old but still useful. Unix hasn't changed all that much and yeah, Sigwin uh, respects all of the parameters of the Unix basics, so we'll take a look at them. Last time we visited um, catting in the first tutorial, catting uh, documents. Now we'll go and take a look at redirecting output, redirecting input, and the use of pipes. Don't know how far we'll get into redirecting. We'll probably take care of redirecting output in this tutorial. So let's take a, take a look at it. Click on it. Zoom in a little bit for your users at home. Now we've already talked on cat a little bit, and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, what we did last time is we created a list. We, uh, by using the cat, redirected it. Everything from that was typed in went into the fruit list.txt. Apple, orange, banana, etc. Um, and when we cat it, this is what's inside. So we'll clear and take a look at what's next. Redirecting output. Okay, so now we've done that. Cat list one. We did that. We created our fruit list, and there's list one. Now, using the above method, create another file called list two containing orange, plum, mango, grapefruit. Okay, so let's do that. So, cat <coughs> fruit list 2a.txt. Now, when I hit the enter key, oh, right, I need to use the redirect, which is the whole point of this <laughs> tutorial. Cat fruit list 2a. Now, mango, plum, uh, grape. Uh, Rambutan, which is a fabulous fruit. Lychee, I like lychee myself. I'm uh, particularly fond of kiwis. So, there are my fruit list 2A. <coughs> now, let's control D that, which tells cat that I'm done. And let's go ahead and cat that document. Notice I'm not using the redirect in here. So cat list, fruit list two A. Now I just tab to complete that, which is a very important feature. Now note, there's my cat fruit list A, or cat two A, and then I'll fruit list the other one. So I have four words and five or six words in, in either one of those lists. Now that's pretty useful if you are writing scripts or that you need to build documents. And I'll show you what we've done. We created a second document. Now what we're going to do is append to my first one some more words. So let's go ahead and cat. Now that this tells us that we're appending the two uh, greater than signs, or less than signs rather tells Linux or tells Unix that we want to append some information to our document. So uh, what should we append here? Uh, nectarine, peach, pear, and that should, that should do it. So we've appended three more things to my original list, cat fruit list. Now this should look familiar to you interesting in that it didn't it did append them 
but it attached it right to the end of last the last word in the file. So that's something to be aware of. So read the contents of the file. We cat it. She now have two files. Six fruit and the other four fruit. Well, we have more than one fruit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring these big lists. Or I'm going to list these. Uh, I'm going to cat them all into one big list. And that means clear. So I'm going to cat fruit list dot txt and then fruit list two a dot txt and I'm going to put them all into one big file. Big file. Big fruit. Uh, txt. So there it is, my big fruit file. Scroll down. What is this doing? It's putting everything from list, fruit list one and fruit list two into a big fruit file. So let's take a look at what's inside my big fruit file. Cat big fruit. And there are all of my fruits. Um, and there's no particular order to them, mind you. It's just what they are. And now we have, uh, let's, we'll stop there. We have already created enough for you to chew on uh, in terms of file manipulation. Again, let's take a look at the history. Oh, too much history for you. How about this? History, we'll say the last 10 commands. So we, uh, added documents to, or we appended information to the original fruitlist.txt, and then we put all of the original fruit list and the second fruit list into one big fruit file, and that's what we're, we're at now. So play with those redirects and play with the appending uh, redirects, see what you can do, and uh, happy computing! Well, happy Linux computing. It's a lot to do, a lot of fun to have. And while you're doing it, I would recommend you create uh, some screencasts of your own. I use Demo Studio on my XP box. Share your own, uh, create your own screencasts and publish them. Uh, there's some serious problems in the world of education and the world in general. And if we can work together to uh, relieve the burden of uh, lack of education, we can begin to raise the populations. Building an LTSP network is one way of doing it um, for your business, your home, school, community center, retirement community. I built one for my school and it was the happiest two years of my teaching career. I want to thank you for your time and Send me an email if this has helped you or anyone you know. My name is Dennis Daniels, and happy competing!